Nitrocell eCommerce presents Creating PAM Attributes and NSC Sync Field Mappings. Nitrocell's ability to upload data from your POS database is the foundation of your integrated web store. NSC Sync is the engine behind this work. By tapping into data tables or local field sources and connecting them to the appropriate online counterparts or remote fields, we are able to assemble a complete picture of your point of sale items, customer details, navigation structure, and so on. These connections are called field mappings. In its simplest form, field mapping in NSC Sync is like connecting two dots, where you're connecting one local field to one remote field. More complex mappings can be achieved through SQL expressions and written to include values from multiple fields to create countless results. Let's begin by opening Sync's configuration menu and selecting field mappings. Here we see the complete list of tables, or groups of fields. Most of your mapping edits will be in either the item or marketplace tables. I'll expand the item table to reveal the fundamental remote fields required by your web store. Default mappings include item lookup code or item number, product name, extended description, and so on. By simply looking down the list, you begin to understand the depth of the integration. The naming of these fields is relatively straightforward, beginning first with what the mapping relates to, product, and then the specific detail, for example, product underscore name and product underscore desk or description. To learn where a remote field is mapped to in the local database, right-click and select properties on the remote field. A dialog box displays the remote field name which we've selected the field source, or the location in the local database of the data that we wish to map to the remote field, and the field description, which may contain information regarding where the field is used on your web store. In this example, we can see that product underscore desk is mapped to the item dot extended description in the POS database. Now let's explore how to change this mapping. By clicking the field source dropdown, we can see and select different fields for mapping to this remote field. If the field you require is not in the drop-down list, select Advanced, then the Functions menu, and then Insert Field. The available local fields are divided by their type, and by hovering over each, reveals a complete list of the fields which can be mapped. In the next section on creating PAM attributes, we'll discuss the difference in data types. For this demonstration, We'll assume that the product description isn't located in the item dot extended description, but in the item subdescription 3 field in the POS database. We'll again view the properties dialog to see if the subdescription 3 field is available through the dropdown. We see it is not, so we'll manually map it by selecting advanced. To change the mapping, we should first delete the current local field. Then select the functions menu and then insert field. Proceed to locate and select the Subdescription 3 data field. Please note that these are the same steps to follow when mapping any of the local fields to remote fields. Occasionally, you'll be required to create new data fields to supplement your web store. Examples of this include adding data for display on your product page, creating shipping rules, and providing additional product details to a third-party integration like Amazon Storefront. When you require additional data fields, you may create them in NSC PAM and then map them with NSC Sync. Next, we'll explore creating new data fields or attributes and how to map them to the web store using NSC Sync. For this demonstration, we'll create three new attributes. One, to display the country of origin on a product page. Two, to trigger variable oversized shipping fees for items. Three, to indicate which items are for sale on Amazon Storefront. Before beginning, it's important to remember that the Product Attribute Manager, or PAM, is an additional interface onto your database, and that by creating attributes there, you're actually creating new data fields in your POS database. Open PAM, then select Add Attribute. We're presented with a dialog box, where we must name the attribute and define its type. You have five choices. Checkbox, or Boolean, is used for options that can be true or false. String is used for text. Integer is used for non-decimal numbers, such as stock quantities. Date field 
is used for dates, such as product release dates. And float field is used for decimal numbers, such as prices. The first attribute will need to house text and would therefore require a string. I'll name it country. Remember that your attribute name will not be reflected at the web store, but through field mapping, that data will be mapped to the remote field of your choosing. The second attribute will use decimal numbers or a float field to increase shipping costs for items. I'll name it oversized type. The third attribute is a yes no question or true false, so I will name the attribute AMZ item and define its type as checkbox. Now that we've created our attributes, we're ready to map them. Open NSC Sync or Server Sync for RMS HQ users. Choose Configure, then Field Mappings. To map the first attribute, expand the item table to reveal the remote fields. In addition to the standard fields listed, each web store has 10 additional text and 5 additional number fields to create new mappings such as these. These remote fields are product underscore web links with an X, custom text 1, 2, 3, and so on, and product underscore web links custom number 1, 2, 3, and so on. Seeing that my first text field is already in use, I'll map my country string attribute to custom text 2. To add a new remote field, right click the top of the table and select Add Standard Field. In the remote field, type product underscore web links custom text 2. Please notice there are no spaces. Now to map, select Advanced, then the Functions menu, and then Insert Field. The field we're mapping is a string. Here we find our country attribute, represented in database terms as nitro ASL underscore PAM table dot country. Select it and then select validate. Mapping with the insert field utility will in most cases validate, but for manually written SQL expressions, there is a higher likelihood of incorrect syntax. The validator will produce a report outlining the bad syntax when it is present. Otherwise, the mapping is good and it is saved. Now let's map the second attribute for shipping rules. Right click the top of the item table and select Add Standard Field. In the remote field, type product underscore web links custom text 3. Please notice there are no spaces. Now to map, select Advanced, then the Functions menu, and then Insert Field. The field we're mapping is a float field. Here we find the oversized type attribute, represented in database terms as nitro ASL underscore PAM table dot oversize type. Select it and then select validate. Our third mapping is for the Amazon Marketplace. Instead of the item table, expand the Marketplace table to reveal the remote fields dedicated for custom mappings and inspect them for availability. For example, I'll right click on Product Marketplace Text 1 and select Properties. The local field is blank and it is therefore available for mapping. If text were present, we would know this remote field is already in use. Select the Functions menu and then Insert Field. The field we're mapping is a Boolean or checkbox. Among the available checkboxes is the AMZ item attribute, represented as Nitro ASL underscore PAM table dot AMZ item. Select it and then select Validate. To review our work, I'll again right click and select Properties to inspect our newly created mapping. And again for the other two in the item table. For more information and examples of field mapping, please see the NitroCell forum. For further assistance, please contact customer support through the ticket system. This concludes the Creating PAM Attributes and NSC Sync Field Mapping tutorial. Thank you for watching. NitroCell eCommerce helping you succeed online.